We're at North High School where tonight the Golden Raiders host appear on Parents' Night alongside the coach Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, we have an interesting matchup tonight. Uh, De Pere comes in one and three, North 0 and four. I was talking to somebody, I think it was Chris Hine, he said, De Pere doesn't look that good this year. They're not as good as other years. You know, maybe North can hang with them. And I was telling somebody that and they said, yeah, all it means is North is gonna lose by 40 instead of 50. Now you brought up an interesting point about the defense of De Pere. Yeah, they're, they're ranked right now. With, they've given up the most yards in the whole conference. So hopefully maybe that bodes well for the offensive North, which is at times looked okay, but for most of the years really sputtered. So with the, you know, with a little consistency in things, maybe, just maybe Mitchell Mahler can get a little bit of time back there and he can throw the ball. He, he's only completed four passes all year. Maybe they can get that run game going and, and maybe they can, they can hang with the beer. Sometimes your uh, running game sets up your passing game, and sometimes the reverse works. Uh, I think in North's case, if they could pass the ball a little more effectively, uh, Love Beringer could, you know, gain a few more yards. Yeah, I like him, and I like to see a uh, Noah Herzog too. You got two running backs there. Herzog, we saw him a couple weeks ago run the ball, but uh, you know, Love Beringer every once in a while he. He gets through there. He's a big kid, but he's just a sophomore. But every once in a while, he looks like a little bit of a load. And, you know, watching DePierre a little bit, they're not extremely big or anything. They do have some big kids. But maybe that offensive line for North could have a little confidence today, looking at the stat sheet, maybe looking at some film. Maybe they picked up some things over the week that maybe they can have some type of success. Where North likes to run the ball about 60 to 70% of the time, uh, DePier likes to pass the ball maybe up to 50 or 60% of the time. So it's going to be a different look tonight. Yeah, they've, they've thrown it, you know, almost uh, 20, 25 times a game. So they do that. They do have a, a back that's like sixth in the league in rushing too. So, you know, they they'll, they'll, he does a little bit of success. But you're right, most of their, their success is coming out of a sophomore quarterback. And, you know, Norse, we're going to have to see what they can do on defense. At times, you know, they again, they're just like their offense. They, they show signs of good things, and other times, not so so good. So, again, you know, this is a team that probably the Pier is not going to probably make the playoffs. you you got Manitowoc coming up. That's a winnable game, possibly, and tonight the Pier. But the season's coming to a fast close if you're going to get that first win. North has struggled on defense along with the Pier. Uh, one of the things, and I mentioned this the last couple of weeks, is sometimes your offense can serve as a defense in that you control the ball. Do you think North can control the ball against this the Pier defense? Well, looking at the defensive stats, as I said before, they're 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 pretty bad. So yeah, we got to keep ball control. Maybe get some type of drive. You know, North had a nice what 75-yard drive last week, so you know it's there. Last week, you know they got to kind of forget about last week. They got kind of against South. You know, field position kind of hurt them. You know, a bad punt and then a, a couple penalties after a punt return. And, you know, the defense didn't play bad against South last week, even though it looks like a loss on there. But, you know, they did show some signs of improvement last week, and hopefully they can carry that out, their defense, and get that offense rolling a little bit against the so-called worst defense in the league. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, we certainly are. We're going to step out and take a break, and then uh, we'll come back. We'll have the uh, starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's football game.
give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.com. Both teams getting ready now to uh, either kick it off or receive the kickoff. Chris Wright just entered the uh, press box. I run into students, Marty. I can't get up here. I noticed that. Great. You were like a rock star when we were walking <laughs> out to the track saying hi to everyone. Yeah, it's uh, kind of the same old thing that you probably went through with kids and stuff. 
don't know if we can get a shot down on the track. All the kids with their uh, leaders doing a little cheer, cheer camp going on. And their bright yellow t-shirts. Mitch Mahler will be kicking off for uh, the Raiders. Uh, deep back deep is Gavin Knott. And it looks like uh, Christian Bosick. I can't believe the quarterback's going to be returning a kickoff. Wow. Must have missing a number. Kickoff is high and deep. Taken at the 10. Looking for an opening, scoots by, evades one tackler, Max Miner on the return. It'll be first and 10 for DePier. There you're gonna see it. Somebody had a good shot at him and slipped off. It's gonna be a DePier ball at the 34 yard line. Well, DePier comes into the game eighth in the league in offense, but uh, they are averaging almost 250 yards a game, so it's no slouch. A little pitch, a little double reverse, and now back to the quarterback. It's a little dipsy doodle to start. Another missed tackle, and then uh, the quarterback, Bosick, gets hammered. And again, back at uh, around the 29. Let's uh, let's come out and show a little class and do some triple reverse thing. And doesn't shock me from the pier. Hey, you gotta win the game first, Chris. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I hope North sticks it to him. <laughs> we were hoping that going in. <laughs> and he's gonna get that? sacked again. Making the tackle for North was Lucic, Lucas Bunting. Good job, Lucas. It's gonna be third and a mile. Well, we mentioned DePier, one and three, but they haven't played any of the big boys. They have played Southwest, they're undefeated. They haven't played Bayport or Notre Dame yet. They beat Manitowoc by 10, lost to Southwest, Eshwabadon, and Preble. Third down and 18. Wide receivers, three of them off to the left, off to the right. Rolling, Good job. catch is made, but it's gonna be far short of the first down. Making that grab was Max Miner. That's his 16th catch of the year, Marty. Well short Hit of the right first right at the down. 35, give him a gain of 11. The running back is the punter. He's averaging 34 a game. It's a high punt. The catch is made at about the 27. Be first and 10 north. Veronic is your punter. Good defensive stop that time by uh, the Raiders. And now they'll get their turn on offense. Mahler's the quarterback. Love Beringer, you'd think it's gonna be the running back. He is. Noah Herzog is split off to the left. Rest of the line is tight. Up the middle goes Love Beringer before he's finally pushed back. Picked up about six yards. Going to be second down. Give him a pick up a six. Wing back on the right. Lee Koo Lee. There we go. Oh no. Is there a fumble on the field? There is. There is. Gee, 
Mahler fumbled the ball and lost it. Oh, boy. Good grief. Yep. On the handoff, he... Ay, ay, ay. First and ten for De Beer. Get a stop. Nice six-yard start. And then you turn it over. Little things. Just yeah, do the little right things. There. Going for it. Going deep. Oh, he's got a wide receiver open, but overshot him. I tell you, kid, that guy's got an arm. Yep. Bosick, watch this throw. Christian a dart. Bosick, sophomore, steps in there. That was on the line. Second down and 10. Did it's you mention they like field position? Oh, sorry, Marty. I was going to say, did you mention in the opening they like to throw? Yeah. Handoff to the running back, and he's dragging tacklers. Gets down near the 25. On that carry was uh, Nate Baronic. He's their main beam, main ball carrier. Give him a gain of seven. Yeah, he's six in the league in rushing, averaging about five yards a carry. That time he got seven. Inside handoff, he's got the first down and then some. Good slashing run that time. He's gonna be a load if they don't tackle better. Ball is spotted on the 18 yard line. I wonder Gain if they eight on that carry. I wonder if they'll stick it on the ground again here. Why throw the ball when you're getting seven yards up up? We'll stick the quarterback. Hands it off inside. Boy, oh boy. Oh, wow, he's gashing the North defense. Another slashing run down inside the five yard line. Watch this. Great blocking up front too, Chris. Great point. There's a big alleys for him to run through. That was a 15 yard run. Well, I don't think they're going to pass it down here, Chris. Not the way they've been uh, running the ball. Linemen are very tight. Not much spacing. Another handoff to Baronic, and he punches his way. Is the end? They say no. He stopped on him inside the one. A little bit of dancing and tried to push his way through, but good, good gang tackling that time by North. Second and goal from the one. Veronic, number 15, has been uh, doing the work this time. Get, and get he short. gets into the end zone, touchdown. Uh. Just made it. I thought Koo made a nice play here. Watch him. Look at Slicing that across. Stop. Yeah. But they only had a little bit to go. <laughs> Be interesting how they, uh, they're going to kick it or run it. Well, they've uh, tried five extra points, and they've only made three, so. And off. Baronic in easily. I guess that answered the question, Marty. Yeah, watch this. Inside near the center spot. Ooh, it looked like it opened up to the right of the center, but uh, he found enough space. Touchdown and extra point makes it eight to nothing to Pier with uh, eight oh pardon me, seven oh two left in the first quarter. Chris, they may have found something that uh, North is going to have to take care of or it's uh, going to be a 
long game for the Raiders. Yep. Well, North came out, like I said, with a big stop and a good field position and nice first offensive play, but you can't turn the ball over. And see how they respond here. Kickoff uh, taken on about the 13. Love bearing, no, Coleman. And he gets uh, knocked down at the 25. Michael Coleman on the return. Keith Bondy's out there, Chris, one of the officials. I think this uh, crew is uh, generally speaking from the Manitowoc area. First and 10 Raiders from the 26. Inside handoff, Behringer trying to force his way through and does. Picks up about three. Another inside handoff, not much there. Lot of running, Chris. Yep, they got about third and six. They've only tried uh, 14 passes all season, Marty, through four games. A lot of it has to do with the line and not holding fort. for uh, Mitchell. All right, you got a third and five. See what they come up with here. Cheating. And uh, the pier jumps offside. That'll be a five yard penalty. It should be a first down for the Raiders. Close. And uh, Mitchell Mahler's done that a couple times this season. Gonna be fourth. Nope, first down. Well, one official said first down, so they got to move the chains. Get your chain gang going. Oh, boy. We got issues. One official said it's short. The uh, head referee said first down. They got to give him a first down, Chris. It's marked on my sheet. Well, the officials pointed first down, but they got to get it right. It's going to be third and one. Yeah. There's Inside a first down. handoff and a good gain out to the 46. Went on this Love right Behringer. side. Yeah, they went behind. Fiona, nice hole. There's nice a good block by the out. lead back. Yep, nice kick out block is right, Marty. 10 yard run for uh, Love Behringer. Clock running, 5.20, and now we get a timeout by the official. Looks like there's an equipment issue for one of the Raiders. Lucas Bunting coming in. Goes 6'3", 180. Big kid lining up at the tight end spot. Fake handoff. Mahler keeps it. <coughs> All right. Good read by Mahler, Chris. Yep. All right. Here we go. Little Pick help. up a five. Little help by a DePierre penalty. Got some mojo going. Well, 
Lines are set. Fake handoff again. Mahler keeps it. He, he breaks go. to the outside. He gets tackled. Almost went all the way. Good stop made by De Pierce Connor Vanden Heuvel. Saved the touchdown. But again, yep. Mahler making the right read. Yep. <coughs> we mentioned this is statistically the worst defense in the league. And uh, North is going right at them. 14 yard run by uh, Mahler. Lee Ku Lee in the backfield. They give it to Behringer up the middle this time and he gets pushed back near the 30 yard line. Can be second down for the Raiders. Ball spotted on the 30 yard line. North trying to answer uh, De Pere's short drive after the turnover. Hand off again by Behringer. He squirts out, picks up, but looks like the first down. Boy, that was a nice run, Chris. Yep. I thought he got stopped at the line of scrimmage. Well, he, there got he broke slipped away. through. Broke a tackle. Well, he's strong. We mentioned uh, Big Kid, 195. Fake inside. Give it to the second back but not much going there. I think he just kept it, Marty. Yeah, you're right. Faked the handoff and kept it. Just trying to lean forward. There wasn't much there. Yeah. Good block by Tu Cheng Ku. They but had three uh, you're right. They had three receivers out here, but they uh, still ran it. Ball is spotted on the 20 yard line. It's uh, second and eight. Love Behringer in the backfield. Herzog. Nice. Took the hand. No, it was, yeah. No, Love Behringer again. Got down to about the 15, Marty. Behringer gets the handoff late, spins off a one tackler and keeps battling. It's gonna be third and short. Keep it on the ground. You got two chances to get three yards. I think Mitchell can get it himself, but no. Fumble. God, Lee. Ball was knocked out of uh, Mahler's hand. You know, it's hard to tell if he was going to give it to Love Behringer or not. But uh, watch this. You'll see it get knocked right out of his hand. Boom, right there. Jeez. Unbelievable. Going to be fourth down, loss of a yard on that play. Come on, boys. Wide receivers, two of them out to the right. Mauer rolling that way, fires. He's got the man, hit him right in the hands. But uh, Coleman not able to make the grab. And Van in the I think get a paw on it. Watch him step up here and just enough to be in the way. Disappointing, Marty. Yeah. Very nice drive. Results in nothing. It's going to be first and 10 for De Pere. They're on the 16 yard line. They're backed up. They have uh, wide receivers off to the right and left. Inside handoff, big opening. And Baronic with a nice gain gets it out over the 25 yard line. Well, I was, well, here's the replay. I was watching them warm up, Marty. Their guards and center aren't big, their tackles are, but right now it doesn't matter. That entire offensive line is just 
pushing north completely off the line of scrimmage. Nine yard play, it's gonna be second and one. Bosick hands it off. Baronic again, a big gashing run right through the north defense and an easy first down. Clock running, 34 seconds left. So since they've taken over on downs, Chris, we've had a nine yard run and a 13 yard run. And they're out to the 38 already. Bosick drops back, looking deep. He's got a receiver wide open, makes the catch. And in for an easy touchdown is Gavin Knott on a 62 yard reception. Here you'll Watch. see it, plenty of time, good air, way past the defenders, and the third leading uh, receiver in the conference, Gavin Knott, gets his fourth touchdown of the year. Wow. 11 seconds left. And they go for two. And looks like they got it. Nope. No. Did not get it. Well, 11 seconds left. It's 14 to nothing to Pier. And uh, there was a case where the running game set up the pass. Here it is again. And you're not, no pun intended, gonna get him. Well, two fumbles, Marty, cost North. First drive they had, they put it on the carpet, lost it. Second drive, moving right down the field, lost four, forced to throw. And three plays later, DePere takes advantage. That's well, a nice night, Marty. Weather's Beautiful. Nice. You know, it feels like a breeze coming into the booth. We've got the uh, windows open, but when you look out at the flagpole, it's uh, not moving at all. Oh boy. Coleman missed it, picks it up at about the 16 and gets wrapped up and knocked back short of the 20. Still six seconds left. First and 10 for the Raiders. I think I saw Carter Tross out there get pancaked, but he gets back up and starts knocking the guy down who hit him. Good. That's an effort. That really That's is. That's what I like. I yeah. hope they see that on film, because I saw it. He didn't give up on the play. Love Beringer's not going to get much there, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. At the end of one quarter of play, DePierre leads 14 to nothing. They said a bottle was just a bottle. that no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile.
food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety. Getting ready to start second quarter action. Second and nine for the Raiders. Mahler under center. Fake inside hand. No, he, yeah, fake handoff. And Mahler goes for big yardage. Fake the run to uh, to Chang Ku, and there you see, there he runs through the camera picture and picks up good yardage. And that was, you could tell why De Pere doesn't have good defense. They were fooled. They all flowed towards the ball. Big gainer for North. 16 yards. Mahler again keeps it, fake the inside handoff and gets it outside the 40. Give him a gain of five. See the replay? Little opening. Mahler had 22 yards rushing in the first quarter, was 0 for 1 passing. It's been a good compliment to uh, Love Beringer. Banging into the line, not getting anything, was Mahler. I'll tell you, the offensive line is pushing. You can see the linemen well up field. They're creating some openings. Just got to take advantage of it. And we haven't talked about that much all year where North can actually kind of uh, physically push the defensive linemen away. Okay, it's going to be third and about seven. Wide receivers off to the right. Mahler likes to roll that way and throw on the run. Oh, nice leaping catch made by... Michael Coleman, Light pardon down. me, that one was made by Demarji Mitchell. Penalty though, Marty. Oh no. And it's gonna be on North. Oh, oh, there's a hold. Nice leaping grab in any case. A hold. Tackle. The offensive lineman basically was on the back of one of the peer players, which is the problem that Norse had all year with their passing game. They can't protect. Who caught the touchdown pass? Not. Gavin Not. Oh boy, jeepers. All right, third and a bunch, 22 yards. Wide receivers all over the field. Mahler looping pass intended for Coleman, but uh, over his head, pass goes incomplete. Right idea, a good pass, but uh, Mitchell just had to get rid of it too quickly as he could feel the pitter-patter of uh, white shirts and people behind him. It's going to be fourth down now. Again, a mistake. This time a penalty. The other thing that hurts North, Chris, is they do not have that big play capability, at least not that we've seen. And uh, when they have to go a long ways off, slipping by a couple of tackles and making a nice return was Gavin Knott, the kid who caught the long pass. The Pierre's going to actually have pretty good field position now.
Here we go, Bosick dropping back, pitches it out to nice uh, Baronic. And uh, North doing a good job of stringing it out. Cool again, look at that hustle. Good job, North. Got that right. Second down and 10. Two wide receivers off to the right, man in motion. And a pitch out, flag goes down right away. Baronic gets hit in the backfield but avoids a couple of tackles and picks up positive yardage. Give him a gain of one. We'll check out the penalty. There you see at the bottom of your screen, there's a slip tackle, another one there, and then he finally gets wrapped up by a couple of North Raiders. Penalties on to Pierre. North will take that. It'll be second and 15. There's Keith Bondi. I would imagine he's worked a few of your baseball games over the years. Oh. <coughs> yep. It's like an addiction with him. <laughs> you know, I think he uh, has been umpiring baseball games since uh, high school. He wow. told me that once. <coughs> North blitzing. Oh, DePier had the right play. The screen pass off to the left. And there goes Baronic. He's gone. Oh man, but there is a flag, there's hope. Holding, DePier, that's gonna be decline, uh, no touchdown. You know, that's the kind of play that I wish North would run. Well, I'll tell you, you need to go back a little further, Robert. You catch it from the beginning. North was blitzing on the left side of the defense, and DePierre had a screen pass on the left side of the offense. That's why that play went so far. But the penalty puts it all back. Instead of third and 15, it's uh, third and 20. Veronic is quick. He's yeah, he senior. is. Told you he's sixth in the league in rushing. North blitzing again. Again, the screen pass. And a catch is made. And dragged down right at the first down marker was the DePierre receiver, Gavin Knott. Yeah, that time they just ran a receiver screen. Yeah, you're right. There goes the blocker, big number 66. Jeez. And again, the right call for the defensive call. Ball is spotted at the North High 45. That was a 20 yard pickup. Not has two catches for uh, 82 yards, Chris. It's just short. It's going to be a third down and one. My guess, Chris, is Baronic up the middle. Bosick in the shotgun as he's been all game. Seventh 
40 left in the half. No, Bosick dropping back, looking, he gets oh. hit and nailed. Making the stop to Cheng Ku. Made a couple plays on this drive. Loss of eight. Wow. Well, penalties have hurt the pier, and so now they are going to have to punt. What are we? Nobody back, Marty. Nobody back. Late Nobody whistle, back. North calling a timeout. Realized there was something not right. <laughs> Those are the kind of things that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't have to use a timeout on that. Well, but North good got stop. A, yeah, North got a break on Two the penalties. Two breaks. <laughs> Two penalties and wow. Got to feel bad for Bosick. He was celebrating in the end zone as they were marching off the penalty yardage. There's the long touchdown pass from the first quarter to Gavin Knott. <coughs> he pitter patters into the end zone. Didn't notice that on the. Uh, on the first call. This has been a fast ball game so far. Why isn't anybody blocking the wide receiver out here? He can just take a clear run down the field. There's a blocker. He yeah. got a chip on him. And Hunt took a north bounce and it was gathered in by uh, by Brett Bradison right at the 25. So good field position for North. They can get something going. Well, they've been getting things going, Marty. That's not the problem. I agree with you. It's the penalty and two fumbles that have hurt them. They're getting yards, but they they can't keep making mistakes. Inside handoff to Love Behringer. He picks up about three or four before he's pushed back. Second down for North. Herzog is the uh, wide receiver at the bottom of your screen. Handoff to uh, Love Behringer, I believe. No, that was. Uh, yep, it was Love Behringer. I thought it was Dylan Coldren. Yeah, there's the pitch out oh, yeah, to Coldren. Right. He was and a enough. fumble too. He gathered it in. He Jeez. almost lost the ball. They They've gotta been be practicing more careful, that Chris. since July, Marty. Every week they fumble that ball like that. Third down and a bunch. It's about seven yards or so. Not much on that run by Love Behringer. Now they're gonna have to punt. Oh boy. Yeah, not much doing there, Chris. Picked up maybe two. It's gonna be fourth down. Mauler's kick is away, almost blocked. Matter of fact, it was touched. They called nothing on the, for roughing the punter because the ball was tipped. De Pierre's gonna get it in great field position, Chris. This is an important possession 
for Northcrest. They can't let them score again with 443 left. Yeah, I agree with you, Marty. And I think that, that. Uh, De Pere's not going to be bashful about putting it up in the air either. Well, I would, if I was them, I'd start with the run. Veronic takes the handoff right up the middle. He's got a wide open lane and gets it down into North Territory to their 45, 15 yards. Aiden Moore on the stop. Watch what this. It's a good run, but if I'm uh, Veronic, wouldn't you want to run away from the safety? No, it's more <laughs> fun to run over them. <laughs> I'd keep 16 it on the 16 yards on that play. There he goes. Another good run by Baronic, leaving the ball hang out a little bit. I didn't like that, but uh, good effort at the end to stretch it out. 419. Another first down run, too. First and 10, ball's going to be spotted on the 33. Wide receiver split way out to the right. Bosek looking over the middle, fakes a throw, pulls it back, Open. and now throws to the end zone, incomplete. He had his receiver, Ethan Holhole, wide open, but uh, pass went incomplete. He was almost over the line of scrimmage, Marty. You see that? And then he kind of threw a wobbler. Uh, would have been short of the end zone. I thought he was inside the end zone, but he wasn't. But in any case, it's second and 10. Didn't take long for DePier to flip the field either, Chris. They're down at the 33. Inside handoff, Baronic, little shifty move there. And again, good run. He's very quick into the hole. Watch this little jig right there. Boom. Ah, now you have me, now you don't. Some arm tackles, Marty. He's hard to catch. Yep. Third and one. Quick out, oh, ball was just tipped away. Good defensive play made that time by Joshua Pokerwinski. Yeah, JT gets in there. Fourth and one. Uh, <laughs> when you got the running game going the way they do, that's uh, you can do that kind of stuff because it's fourth and one. You, you know, right. they've been gaining yards on the ground. I I don't. I think that's a good play call, actually. Well, hopefully they'll stop him. And yeah, exactly. You only need one stop, boys. There you go. That's why you don't do that pass. Uh, Might have been too much time. <laughs> Illegal procedure on De Pere. They've. Uh, Got a boatload of penalties tonight. Yep. Now it's fourth and six. Four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Veronic in the backfield with Posek. And a crossing pattern. Nice throw right to the wide receiver. Making that catch was Gavin Knott. Watch this pattern. Veer in, out a deep guy. There he goes, and the pass is right there. Veronica had one, excuse me. Bocek had one thing on his mind, and he was going to throw that pass. That's all he had. He dropped back and he looked at one of the four receivers and he hit him in stride. 21 yards on that reception, low snap, give it off to Baronic, slips by one tackler and then lunges forward down inside the five yard line. 
Clock running, 2.30 remaining. Second and goal. Ball is spotted at the five yard line. Give off to uh, Baranek. He lunges into the end zone and he's got it for the touchdown. Five yard run, good blocking up front. There you're gonna see it. Watch him lunge the football across the line. Well, Brad Neist with the nice block. The tackle out here. 208 left until halftime. Quick pass is uh, knocked down. Two point conversion is no good. With 208 left in the half, to peer up 20 to nothing. Chris, it's been a disappointing half, that's for sure. Well, there's show signs, Marty, but uh, too many mistakes. Especially on defense, boy, they're just not, they're getting they're, beat in the line. Yeah, but offensively, they should have generated something, Marty. Fumbles and gaining Short yards. Kick is gonna go out of bounds. Another penalty on Preble. Well, you have 208. Two on time pure, outs, pardon me. And uh, 65 yards to go. You can do it, boys. You got two timeouts to work with besides. Dylan Coldren in the backfield along with uh, Isaiah Love Beringer. See if Mahler elects to stay with the run. He does. Not much there, however. Maybe a yard or two. You know, can't you uh, take one of those up backs, those wing backs, and just flare them out to the side and quick drop and pass it to one? Or Every once in a while, they'll put that kid in motion. I know uh, Lee Koo Lee did that a couple times. They didn't give him the ball, but, you know, the option's there. Mahler rolling right, throwing on the run. He's got his receiver. Looks like a first down. You know, and they Making always. that catch was uh, Coleman. You know, when they line up like that, Marty, too, I know that's coming. I know he's going to roll to the right just by the way they've set up with their linemen and things. And right. It's a gain of eight, not quite a first down. Got to get that first. The clock is rolling, boys. If you're really seriously thinking about scoring. Hand off to Love Bearing, or he's hitting the oh, backfield. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. It doesn't look like it. He should be calling timeout. Who's calling timeout? To Pierre. See, if I was yeah. north, I would have called timeout and gone for it here because what do you have to lose? Uh, so, the Pierre helps you out oh. here. 
If I'm north, I'm going for it. What's the difference if you're down 27 nothing or 20 nothing? You're 0 and 4. Boy, let's oh get boy. that. Let's get that five yard first down and pick up the drive. Keep going. I didn't think he lost that many yards. Holy yeah. cow! He just got pushed back. Yep. Let's get that first down here, boys. 46 seconds left. I mean, it was four, third and one, wasn't it? Yep. Ay, ay, ay. We, oh, it's fourth. His forward four. progress wasn't closer than that. Yeah. I was shocked, too. They didn't he blow the whistle until he got him back. pushed back. <laughs> All right. A tough break for North. Well, if they don't get the first down, you know De Pere is going for the end zone. That's That's right. why they call the timeout. That's okay. Let's try. I would go for it here. All right, fourth down and about four. Mahler ducks under center. Lee Koo League in motion. Gets set. Whistles no all over. Delay. Time out north. No flags. Time out north. They were trying to draw them offside. That's okay. I don't like that, Chris. They're thinking. Now they're going to punt, though, Marty. Well, yeah. I mean, you want them to go for it on fourth down. Why not? <laughs> You're on four. You know, I guess. I mean, give it a shot. Throw caution to the wind. North will receive the o the kickoff to start the second half. Let's see what uh, De Pere does. They almost blocked the last punt. Matter of fact, they did tip it. We saw that last week against South. Oh, bad snap. Mahler gets it off, however. Nice punt, gets a pretty good bounce. But a De Pere return guy has it. I think that's not. And he gets dragged out of bounds near the 50-yard line. Gavin not on the return. He did catch There's 34 that on the fly. seconds left. Playing very aggressive. Picked it up at the uh, 19. Actually, it was at the 29, but uh, in either case, it's first and 10 to Pierre at uh, the 48. Nice return. Well, I get my D-backs back. Deep pass. Is caught. Baranek is going to get knocked down at about the 20. 23 seconds left. DePierre calls timeout. Stands tall in the pocket. Fires it down there. Nice catch. Ball is spotted at the 19-yard line. Nice. Well, they got 23 seconds and a timeout. Um, if I was to Pierre, I'd run that screen again, call timeout, and then take three shots in the end zone. That's what I would do, Marty. I'd run that, that yeah. screen to the back. Kind of what some the Bears yards. tried to do against at Atlanta, huh? Don't <laughs> talk to me about your Bears. They should have won that game. All righty. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Veronic crossing pattern. He's got the receiver, but is knocked away, or is it intercepted? Knocked away. Knocked away by Seth Stark. No. Nope. Not Seth Stark, he's not playing, so it's somebody else. Um, 
Oh, it's hard to tell. Six. Looks like an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Number Col six would be uh, Col Cauldron. Maybe. Cauldron. Dylan. Eighteen seconds and counting. Uh -oh. Pass into the end zone is caught. What a catch by Gavin Knott. Oh, wow. Crying out Just loud. Just ran a streak and. Watch this. Bosek just lofts it up there. <laughs> Dropped it right in there. It doesn't get much better than that, Chris. Boy, that was quite a play. 19 yard touchdown. Not is having quite a game. <coughs> Two point conversion. And Baronic dances into the end zone with 13 seconds left until halftime. It's 28 to nothing. There you see good blocking on the right side of the line for uh, De Pere. Disappointing to say the least. <laughs> Next week, we will be at KLC. They host uh, Ozaki in uh, homecoming game for Lutheran, Lutheran. and uh, that game will be played at Lakeland University and uh, we are really looking forward to uh, oh. going out there I guess it's that sweet. facility is just nicer it's than could be. Austin Allen we can say the De Pere guy who had the penalty I hope so yeah, that's nice out there at Lakeland. Have you been out there since then? Yes. Okay, I that's have. right. You said you went out and watched yeah. one of the games. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Artificial turf. They have nice landscape around. Uh, a nice gate to enter the games. You'll, you'll like it, Marty. And a concession stand is always good. <laughs> out there. They have great food. We'll be out there for two games for high school and uh, two for college, so lots of cheeseburgers and They'll know us by first name. How right about it? The oh, what a return. Tu Chang Ku. Watch him go. Where is he? There he is. Boom. See? That's where it's fun, Chris. You get to run over people. Yeah. Well, he's had a nice uh, half, but he's stumbling to the uh, sidelines, unfortunately. Oh, no, he's not hurt, is he? Yeah. He's Seven seconds nice left. Plays. Ball is in De Pere territory at the 43. You would think they're going to put it up now. Wide right is Noah Herzog, number 21. Nobody split out on the uh, left side. Lee Koo Lee is the wing back on the right. He goes in motion. Mahler, no time. He gets taken down quickly. Jackson Gallagher on the sack, and we're at halftime.
is so excited to have an incredible season with all of our seniors. Thank you, seniors. And now for your halftime entertainment with a routine choreograph by Mariah Yavanez, please put your hands together for the North High Varsity Dance Team. Oh, sweetheart. Can I give you a hand? No, thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm going to go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you...
You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Got a quarter? Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terra cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey! Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org.
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Okay, so... What would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grad school. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. And to follow the swimming rules. You're always looking out for me and trying to keep me safe. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? Here in the garage. Closet. Shoe box. Under the bed. Where anyone can get to it. How safe is that? How safe is that? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, Please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. We're back at North High School getting ready to start the second half. DePure leads 28 to nothing. 
the pier had a huge advantage in yardage in the first half they collected two hundred forty eight yards one hundred and sixty five of that was in the air north only amount uh, had eighty five uh, seventy seven of those on the ground the two big uh, ground gainers for the pier were uh, gavin knox one hundred and twenty one yards receiving and four catches and uh, nathan baronic had uh, 99 yards in uh, 13 carries. Well, I think DePierre found something on the ground, Marty. Oh, definitely, and that uh, really set up their passing game, too, yeah. I think. Well, in the offense, the first two drives, you know, you fumbled right away, and then you had a big drive, and you fumbled for North. It just... Then you had a penalty on the next drive that, that hurt a drive. I mean, maybe this would be a shootout right now, but instead we look at a 28 nothing deficit. We knew that uh, DePierre could score points. Uh, it's like you had mentioned in the opening, it's whether they could stop the other team. And uh, they've certainly done that tonight. Or... You could say North has stopped themselves a couple of times, too. Yeah. All right, Peronic doing the kicking, too. That guy's uh, jack of all trades. Ball scoots into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The first and 10 for North from the 20. Well, this is it. We got uh, our last game here at North because we're covering homecoming next week. And next week is North's last home game. Um, Against Preble. Yep, and then they have senior night next week, and then they finish with three straight road games. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Isaiah Love Beringer had 11 carries for 41 yards in the first half. Mahler had 10 carries for 36. Quick snap. Not much doing there. And up the Behringer, but he doesn't get much. Stacked up right at the line. Well, we're going to see Love Behringer for two more years. We're going to see Mitchell Mahler for two more years. Uh, there's quite a few juniors on this team that you can build around. Coleman and Mitchell are wide receivers that are juniors, so it's got to get a little bit more work up front. Get those guys pushing the defense around. Pitch back to uh, Cauldron, trying to bounce it to the outside, but uh, great job of stringing it out. That play was made by Gavin. No, not Gavin Rock. He's number 60. Number 26, Gavin Haymauer. It's going to be third down and 12. Two wide receivers off to the right. See if uh, Mahler rolls that way and throws. It's pretty good at throwing on the run. No, nope. a little bit of blocking. Michael Coleman unable to make the catch. A little bit too high. It'll be fourth down. A quick, looks like a three and out here, Chris. And again, they always flow the same way. They only have a couple receivers out here. It's very difficult to thread the needle in there into the coverage because as defenders, you know where it's going. It, yeah. They always roll this way. They never throw the other way. There's not a lot of receivers out on routes. So very tough for uh, Mitchell to convert. Gavin not back deep to receive uh, Mahler's punt. Mahler had pretty good protection, gets it away. Catch is made and nice return that time by Connor Vanden Heuvel. Austin Allen on the return. 
34-yard punt. And we'll see if anything the coaches said at halftime fire up this defense or are they just going to let the Piers stumble this one in here. Let's see if there's some heart in Great the Raiders. Great field position at the 36 to Chris. A little pitch back to Baranek. There you go. Good game tackling that time. One of the uh, Raider tacklers was uh, Ryan Hitzman, Heltzman. He's just a sophomore. Called his name a number of times this season. Elijah Wagner on the tackle there too. He made some big plays last week. He's just a junior. Heitzman that was, Chris. I mispronounced his name. Bosick fake pitch inside nice. handoff and a wide open lane for that to pure running back, Hanky. Max Miner. Miner more noted for his pass catching than his running. Hanky on the field at about an 18, Marty. Okay. Wow, well, look at that opening. We'll bring that back to running. the 28. So set up about a second and five. <laughs> This is interesting. Yeah, it's a spot foul. Yeah. Holding on to Pierre at second down. So give him about a four yard gain. Well, they they put it at the twenty nine, I'm sorry. Veronic up the middle, trying to push the pile, but can't. One of the North defenders pushing him back was uh, Isaiah Holfeltz. Another junior. Now if those kids stick it out, Chris. Yep. North could be okay. Put some pounds on, and Marty said, hit the weight room. Another run up the middle. Veronic lunging forward. He's going to have the first down at about the 22. Brandon Wire on the stop. He's a senior. There you see him looking. Brandon fighting through that blocker there to get to the tackle. First and 10, ball on the 23 yard line. Veronic again running it up the middle, but uh, he's hit and dropped. Who's number 54 for North, Chris? Cameron Bell. Yep, Cam yeah, Bell. Maybe also put him in the program. Center. 64. Is it 64? Yep. Okay. I take it all back. Man in motion is minor. Quick out to him, it's incomplete. See, I like that play. I wish North ran something like that. And you get, like you mentioned, when he goes, uh, the one of the wings goes in motion. Just got to beat one guy. <laughs> yeah, if you can get it out to your fast guys, you know, one on one, you yep. stand a pretty good chance. Like Koo or something would be good out there for that. Bonick dropping straight back, quick fire oh. right over the middle. Catch is made and a touchdown by Ethan Hoho. Oh, he's a big kid, too. Yeah. 6 one, 180. You know, we're North fans, but I'll tell you, some of these plays that the pier runs are just pretty. Yep. 
That's a sophomore at quarterback, Marty. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a stud right now. That was the Extra uh, first point. catch by Ethan. Oh, they're doing a kick job. That's and good. it is good. Max Miner on the kick. So With the 35-point lead now, it'll be a running clock for the rest of the half. And uh, this is going to be a quick half, Chris. <coughs> What'll end up happening is halftime will be longer than uh, the playing time. Well, I really thought maybe, just maybe tonight, hang in there. Uh, it's all coming to a fast close, unfortunately. We mentioned next week we'll be at Lakeland College to cover Ozaki at KLC. We look forward to bringing you that game. Uh, Chris Sablocki is coaching over at, uh, was the former North coach, moved over to uh, KLC. I think he's still teaching fifth grade over at Grant. Another strong kick into the end zone. And Miner racing his teammate, see who could get to the end zone first. Uh, I believe that was uh, Cheyenne Elm. In either case, it's first and 10 for North. Well, clock running. They want Not the clock to run, but they haven't started it. Trying to figure out which ball to use. Clock should be running, and it is. Mauer still at quarterback. And Isaiah Love Behringer is the lone setback. Give it to Behringer. Powers out to the 26. Gain of six yards. Wide receiver off to the left this time. Don't look for uh, Mauer to roll that way. Hand off to Behringer again. He's close to the first down. And looks like he's over the line. If they give it to him, it's going to be a first down. Good power running that time. First and 10 north. Clock running just under seven minutes left in the third quarter. Fake handoff. Mahler still has it. Trying to muscle forward and does. Gets it over the 35. Good strong run. He's second and four. Give Mahler six on the carry. And off to Behringer, he picks up good yardage. Good blocking that time on the left side, right side of the north line. Well, Marty, we've seen this tune before. We know they can move the ball. It's just completing the drives without mistake. Mantuak's still on the schedule. It's going to be up there, so... That'll be There's a tough still one. hope for uh, the Raiders. The 
pitch here. out to Cauldron. He gets knocked out of bounds at about the 30, pardon me, not the 36, Brown, the 46, and a penalty flag on the field. Chop block. Well, on that note, let's pay a little attention to the North linemen. Uh, doing a pretty good job. North has been able to run the ball. Got Nathan Ralsey in there, Gage Oldenburg, Matthew Bayona, Cassius Radifox, Brandon Weir, Wire was in there. Also yeah. on the line. Well, Cam Bell's their center. Cameron Bell, yeah, good one. Cameron Bell, don't want to forget him. He's been a standout on defense, too. Well, it's still first down, but now it's first down and 20. Well, bearing are not going far. Picks up maybe a yard. And up here, beat Mantwalk 23-13. Again, if North can control the ball and not make mistakes like we just saw here again, you know, they got a chance up there. Second and 18, Lee Koo Lee takes the pitch going to the left, picks up a nice block. Running hard, gets knocked down at the uh, 43. It'll be third and 10. I like his speed, though. He's got good Three. quickness, that's for sure. See what North has to... Get the 10 yards they need for the first down. Mahler's liked uh, Coleman. And DePier jumps offside again. Be a five yard penalty, illegal procedure. Or offside, I should say. Two forty and counting. Like to see North get on the scoreboard, Chris. I know you would too. Yep. Only oh, yeah. able to uh, get one score against South last week. Yeah, they had a seven nothing lead and went into halftime with that lead too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They had a nice drive. Niku Lee spots Touchdown. an opening and goes through it. He's Come on, down kid. to the twenty and ripped down at about the 12-yard line. Good quickness. To just get outside a little bit like that, even throw passes out there to let those guys catch it. You, you see the potential. Spots an opening and goes through it. Good effort by that DePere young man, too. Amauer. 40-yard run on that one, Chris. All right, inside the 15. Inside handoff to Cauldron. Takes it off tackle left, gets it inside the 10. Second down and about six. Give him a gain of four. Quick handoff to Love Beringer, and he's hit and pushed back immediately. It's going to be third and goal, or third down, I should say. They don't have to get it to the end zone.
Should be the last play of the first quarter. Yeah, 25 quarter. seconds in Coney. And less of a touchdown here. Inside handoff go, go, again. Go, 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 go. Did he get it in? No, but it should oh, be a first down. It was close. It will be a first down. You're right. They ran that inside reverse kind of, this time going to the left. Yeah, just short. Give him a gain of seven on the play. It's going to be first and goal from the one. And that's the end of the third quarter. We'll pick it up with first and goal from the one starting the fourth quarter. But uh, as it is, the pier leads it 35 to nothing. Here you're going to see it again. Good block on the edge. Mm. Couldn't quite get it in there. Nope. I think Bunting, Lucas was one of the kids throwing the key block. Bill Horsch making some announcements regarding uh, seniors on the uh, cheer squad. Well deserved, those kids work hard just like the uh, kids out on the field. Oh, Touchdown. diving in is Mahler, he gets it in. Bounced off the pile and got into the end zone. North is on the board, here you're gonna see it. Watch number two, fake handoff. Bouncing and then dives in. And he kicks. And he kicks. <laughs> <laughs> he does it all. Had a field goal earlier this season. Ooh, and he kicks well. And that's good. He's got a strong leg. Clock stops after a touchdown. There's 11:56 left in the in the ball game, but the pier up 35 to seven. Referee's getting everything set up so we can uh, start the uh, ball game again with a kickoff. Mahler will be doing the kicking chores for this also. That last drive, Chris, was an 80-yarder wow. by North. Ball is taken in the end zone. They let him come out. I thought once you're in the end zone, you have to uh, down it. Gavin I agree. Not gets it way out. I like to, the to 48. see that replay too. I agree with you 100. percent That's going to be first and ten at the 48. Here, oh, that's, that's about a 50-yard return. Because he was two or three yards deep. He scores touchdowns. He kicks extra points, he Returns kicks off, punts. and now he has to make the tackle on the kick return. Yeah, new quarterback. We might have some new numbers in the ball game now. Let's hope. Veronics at quarterback, and the handoff to a big running back, Stefan Tobish, 5'11", 150. He looked bigger than that, Chris. 
And it's a first down run by that kid. Senior. Yeah, he looks bigger than 150. Yeah, I was going to say. 17 yard run that time. Tobish again gets, he gets labeled. Oh, who else? What a stop that time by Tu Cheng Ku. Take that. Watch who this else? stick. You ain't going nowhere on my side of the field, boy. Bam. Took him right off his feet. Second down and 10. We have an injured De Pere player, Marty. Yeah, we don't like that. It was the. And uh, that's Tobish, too. He got hit pretty hard, I can see. Hopefully, that uh, young man will be okay. We like good hitting, but no, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Oop, oop, oop. One foot in front of the other, son. There you go. Clock stops for injuries, too, by the way. 10. 23 left in the ball game. Keith Bondi winds it. Clock is now running. In the backfield with Baronic now is uh, Tyler Jones. Jones takes the uh, hand oh, no. or the snap and hands it off to Baronic, and he gets labeled pretty good. Yep. Going to be third down. Nice hit that time by Bell. So third down and nine. Veronic taking the snap this time. Fakes the handoff and. Uh, Going to get close to the first down. Looks like he got over the line, Chris. I think he's going to have the first down. Bell is down. <clears throat> so they're switching off who takes the snap. And that time, Baronic took it, faked the handoff to uh, Jones, and then uh, ran for what looks to be a first down, and it is. I don't know what happened to Kim there. He's up. That's a good sign. He's a good kid, Marty. I taught Cam. Very nice young man. Well, I know the Bell family goes to church because when they're all there, that pew is full. <laughs> Pierre's going to run their record to a uh, respectable 4-1. and one. They were 4-5 and five last year, Chris. North is going to drop to 0-5. Uh, oh Clock running under nine minutes. Veronic takes a snap and keeps it, bouncing it to the outside, showing good quickness. And he av avoided a couple of tacklers but couldn't keep his balance and went out of bounds. It'll be first and goal ball inside the 10. Make it the seven. Nathan Baronic is over 100 yards, wait, Chris. Wait, Marty. Penalty. Well, he had 99 and a half, so right. there's a penalty. Let's see what I had him for in the third quarter. I think they had a block in the back, which the Pierre's been guilty of before. So instead of first and goal, they're going to go back to the 31. And we'll try this again. All right, he had 18 yards in the third quarter, would put him at 117. 
127, that rim, that lap. Here's another one. Ooh, Veronic. Now another they're home. Flag. He's going to go to the end zone and score. They <laughs> put him at quarterback, and all he does is call his own number. Yeah. <laughs> another penalty on DePierre. So yeah, so there hard. was a hold out there by uh, number 48, Ethan Hohol. So now they're at the 42. First and goal, though. No, not first and goal. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Well, they took that first and goal thing away. So it's first and 26. 42-yard line. It's more than 16. <laughs> 27. Okay. Here we go again. Tyler Eric. Jones. Eric Spielman in the house and Matthew out of the house. Brundridge actually on that carry. Picked up pretty good yardage, got it down to the 33, pick up a nine. Second down and about 18. Four wide receivers in this set, two to the left, two to the right. And a quick pass, completion. Oh, drag that big body down. Ho ho on a nice catch and run. I think Noah Heidel threw the pass. It's a first down on that play ball spotted on the 12 yard line. It was a 21-yard play. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That's too easy. Matthew Brundridge takes it from 12 yards out and scores. They're all having fun out there if you're on, in a white jersey. Max Miner's out to uh, attempt the extra point. Clock stops again with 5.13 left after a touchdown. All the North runners went with the flow. Runridge cut it back and there was nobody there to hit him. That makes it 42. To nothing with that extra point. You got to go upstairs for that. Next week we'll be at uh, Lakeland University on Friday night when they host Ozaki. Uh, they are not playing their games in Kohler this year as uh, Kohler is putting in a turf field, which is what Lakeland has now. We talked about this a little bit earlier, uh, the fantastic facility they have out there. I'm sure this was all in the works before last year's Mud Bowl. <laughs> but uh, Chris and I had the pleasure of doing a the game last out there. game at Lakeland University. Yeah, grass yeah right. Field. Good point. The last one on the old field. And I know I did one here. 
Nice catch by Coleman, and uh, he gets brought down at the 35-yard line. First and 10 for uh, North. Hey, Chris, there's a chance for you to get a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> I can just try to work mine out. Well, they got five and a half minutes, Marty. Well, make it four and a half now. Yeah, let's see if they can uh, march it down. Love Beringer is the uh, lone setback. Give it to him, but he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Boy, oh boy, we got to get a little more blocking than that, boys. He's second down. Loss of four on that play. Second and 14. There you see uh, Luki, <laughs> Lee Ku Lee, number three. He's gonna go in motion, I'll bet. Nope. Hand off to Love Beringer. He gets pushed back. Picks up about three of those yards that he lost the play before. Third down. Clock running. 317 left. Chris didn't like that play call. Neither did I. Got to get first downs. Two wideouts to the right. Look for a rollout right. Right, Chris? Yep. Throwing on oh, the run. A little bit of a hole. Looked like he had a receiver open, but uh, overthrew the intended receiver, well, Demijah Mitchell. Well, I think Mitchell got banged at the line here. There was no way that he could get down the field. There's a lot of contact there. Prol with the getting in the way there. They're not going to punt, are they? Why would you? What for? <laughs> 210 left. Mahler gets it away. Strong punt taken at the 27. And Knock gets it out to the 43. Another good return. Herzog on the stop. Well, about a 15 yard return, Chris. You have punted there? Probably not. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter wherever they get the ball. They're no, going to score. And yeah, Pierce should be just taking a knee. But uh, give some kids some carries, I guess. Uh, yeah, might as well. Almost a 10 yard run that time by Brundridge. He's uh, showing some good ability. He's only a 10th grader, Chris. Well, next week, Lakeland University. Jones Fumble. fumbled a handoff and uh, North recovers with uh, 44 seconds left and counting. Oh. Oh, you mean to tell me they got it? Oh, he dove yeah, right over the ball. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. Should be the last play of the game, Marty. Yeah. How are we going to take a knee? 15 seconds and counting. 
I think yes. we are. Yep. Uh, that'll do it, Chris. De Pere with an easy win in Sheboygan, 42 to seven. For the crew, Robert Ingram, our director tonight, doing a great job with the replays. Sergi Molitor on graphics. Richard Bartson on the top camera, that's camera one. Greg Zablocki on camera two. I'm Mike Martin, your play-by-play -play guy, and Chris Wright was part-time color on this ball game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he did a great job when he was working. Our next game will be next Friday when we're at uh, Lakeland where uh, KLC will host a peer, uh, Ozaki, pardon me. And uh, we want to thank all of you for watching. One more time, to peer winner, 42 to seven. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.